presenting our beautiful bride today. Your mother and I. Thank you. Okay. Do you want to hand over your bouquet? I want to welcome all of you to this certainly very special moment and special day for this wonderful couple, Amy and Matt. And it's wonderful that you're all here with them, and I'm sure you give your love and support as you do. And while we're standing, I'm going to start with a short prayer for them. O oh God, you have made the bond of marriage a holy mystery, a symbol of Christ's love for his church and people. Hear are our prayers today for both Amy and Matt. With faith in you and in each other, they pledge their love today. May their lives continue to bear witness to the reality of their love. We ask you this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated then. So you have come here today from your varied life experiences to make public the commitment you have made each to the other. You come to combine your two separate lives into one. Although you are sharing one life, never forget you are two separate people. Cherish and affirm your differences. Love each other as you do. Keep your commitment primary. Together you will laugh and cry, be sick and well, be happy and even angry, share and grow. Grow sometimes together and sometimes separately, but never remain stagnant. Love and life are always changing, always new. If you will ensure a healthy, lasting marriage, always value each other. Although you will disagree at times, remember to respect each other's feelings, needs, and wants. And above all, never, never lose your sense of humor. No reaction at that? That's nice. Okay, that's, that's good. And now we're going to ask Tim to come up and do a, a reading for them. From okay. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Be ambitious for the higher gifts, and I, and I am going to show you the way that is better than any of them. I have all the eloquence of men or of angel, but speak without love. I am simply a gong booming or a cymbal clashing. If I have the gift of prophecy, understanding all the mysteries there are, and knowing everything, and if I have faith in all its fullness to move mountains, but without love, then I am nothing at all. Love is always patient and kind. It is never jealous. Love is never boastful or conceited. It is never rude or selfish. It does not take offense, and it is not resentful. Love takes no pleasure in other people's faults, but delights in truth. It is always ready to excuse, to trust, to hope, and to ensure whatever comes. In short, there are three things that last, faith, hope, and love, and the greatest of these is love. And now a reading from the Gospel according to Mark. From the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. This is why they leave father and mother and the two become one. They are no longer two, therefore, but one body. So then what God has made, we must not divide. Well, in just a moment, we'll get to the most important part, which will be your, your vows to each other. A deep breath is very good, and, and that's, you know, this is so special, I think. It, it always is, because uh, being married is one of the most beautiful things that can happen to us in, in life, and to have 
it's because we have someone in each of you that's true for, that you have someone that loves you and wants to be with you and spend your life together. And, you know, I think it's a blessing from God, certainly. It's, it's just a, a nice thing. And, and your journey took a, a while. You were good buddies in seventh grade, I think you said, huh? <laughs> and then it was, you went your own paths for a while, and then all of a sudden that wonderful gift of Facebook came into view. Yeah. And, and, you know, and here we are, look at that. See, so who can complain about that kind of good social media, you know? And, <laughs> and, and so, you know, and you, you do make, I mean, you know, you, I got to know you at least a little bit in getting ready for this, and, you know, you're a classy looking couple, and, and, you're, <laughs> and you're classy people besides with good hearts and a good, a good spirit. And, and I asked you if I could cheat, uh, because it would have been a treat for the people when they go into dinner, but I, I just saw that sign that I think reflects the both of you so well. And it's going to say, every love story is beautiful, but I think ours is my favorite. And so that's the spirit that you, that you have, and, and it's a gift. And so may you, may you celebrate your life together, may you love your life together, may you enjoy it. And I'm sure I speak for all of us very, very safely that we all want nothing but the best for the two of you and that you can have a long, happy life together, okay? And just one little reflection. I came over from the west side and it was very dark and over the first mountain that I saw, there was a rainbow coming out, you know. And then when I got here, they were, there was a rainbow and I, as I was getting closer, there was a rainbow and, and then there was a rainbow here when I got here and now we have beautiful sunshine. So. I don't know if that means anything, but I just think it's great, okay? <laughs> All right. okay? We think it's great. Okay. So if you're ready, we'll get on to the important part. So Amy and Matt, you have come together today so that the Lord may seal and strengthen your love in the presence of the church's minister and of this community. Christ abundantly blesses your love. He strengthens you with a special sacrament so that you may take on the duties of marriage in both mutual and lasting fidelity. And so now I ask you to state your intentions. Amy and Matt, have you come here freely and without reservation to give yourselves to each other in marriage? Yes. yes. Okay. And will you love and honor each other as husband and wife for the rest of your lives? Yes. yes. So since it is your intention to enter into marriage and as you have your hands joined together nicely, Matt, if you don't mind going first and don't worry about me, just look at each other as you repeat your vows, okay? and hopefully they're going to turn up the mic so that people can hear you there. Okay. So I, Matt, take you, Amy. I, Matt, take you, Amy. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, Amy, take you, Matt. I, Amy, take you, Matt. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and health. I will love you and honor you. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. So you have declared your consent before all of us honored to be here with you. May the Lord in his goodness strengthen your consent and fill you both with his blessings. What God has joined, we must not divide. And now if I can have the rings for them. Okay, so it is. The circle is a symbol of wholeness, perfection, and peace. In the rings you are about to give and receive, it is a symbol of unity, in which your two lives are now joined in one unbroken circle, so that wherever you go, you will always return to one another and to your togetherness. So, Lord, we ask that you bless and consecrate both Matt and Amy in their love for each other. May these rings which we now bless be a symbol of their true faith in each other and always remind them of their love through Christ our Lord. Amen. And again, Matt, if you go first and repeat as you put the ring on her finger. Okay. Amy, take this ring. Amy, take this ring. As a sign of my love as a sign of my love and my fidelity and my fidelity in the name of the father in the name of the father and of the son and of the son and of the holy spirit and of the holy spirit okay. and on his left hand 
That left hand, okay. Matt, take this ring. Matt, take this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. And my fidelity. And my fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. So let <laughs> See, a little comedy there is good. He said, ouch, ouch, yeah, ouch, ouch, him. ouch. It's okay. And now they're going to do a sand ceremony together, and there's some words that they've chosen that I'll, that I'll read as they, as they do that, and they'll have some music. So. so Amy and Matt, you have just sealed your relationship by the giving and receiving of rings, and this covenant is a relationship pledge between two people who agree that they will commit themselves to one another throughout their lives. The most beautiful example of this partnership is a marriage relationship. You have committed here today to share the rest of your lives with each other. Today this relationship is symbolized through the pouring of these two individual containers of sand, one representing you, Amy, and all that you were, all that you are, and all that you will ever be, and the other representing you, Matt, and all that you were, and that you are, and, poured, and they are poured into the third container. The individual containers of sand will no longer exist, but will be joined together as one. Just as these grains of sand can never be separated and poured again into the individual containers, so will your marriage be. something very special that he wants to to read to the special women in his life. You are the rose in the rose in my life and I cherish you. But before you there was another who held me in my held who I held in my heart. She nurtured me and taught me and kissed me bad dream kissed my bad dreams away. So to her, I honor her. I present her rose to my mother and to yours, for she is the one who brought me into the world so I could have you in my life. I can see there's not going to be a lack of comedy in this. Uh, it's wonderful. And a lot of beautiful emotion just as, as well. And now if I could invite you to stand, if you would, for a special blessing with them. And I'm going to, I'm going to put my hand out in blessing over them. And if you'd like to, you could extend your right hand towards them, and we'll give them our blessing together. Let us turn to the Lord and pray that he will bless both Amy and Matt united in marriage today. Look with love upon them. Fill them both with love for each other, both honoring and respecting each other and always seeing their love as a gift to be treasured. May the commitment which they are making sacred today be with them not only for today but for the rest of their lives. We ask this blessing for them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And I think it's a sign of their nature and wanting to have everybody be a part of what they do and who they are. And so I invite you now, if you'd like to pray with them, let's, for those that would like to join in, let's say the prayer that reminds us that we're all children of God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And now finally, now for you there is no rain, for one is shelter to the other. Now for you there is no darkness, 
for one is light to the other. Now for you there is no pain, for one is counsel to the other. Now for you there is no cold, for one is warmth to the other. It is that way today, tomorrow, forever. Now it is good, and there is always shelter. And now there is always warmth. And now there is always comfort. And there is no loneliness. Now forever and ever you are as one. And as the sun shines upon you, may you just be blessed forever and ever. So Amy and Matt, you have consented together in marriage, declaring beautifully your love and devotion to each other. And I get the privilege now to pronounce you husband and wife. May your days be long upon the earth and may you dwell in love and joy forever. And somehow I don't think you'll mind this next part. You may seal your vows with a kiss and let's give him a nice hand, okay? Congratulations, and if you want to get that beautiful bouquet back okay. and face your family and friends, I'm going to step off to the side so they get a nice picture of you. Okay, I'll walk over here. And I'm very honored, honored now to be able to give back to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Matt Mendonzo. Dream.